humble and a jaw. The difference between a humble and a jaw is the length. So we we'll start uh, with the walking stick. Roughly, you can say that this is going to the hip level. The name humble comes from uh, hun, half, bo, the big stick. And the long stick is about six shaku, which is one, one meter eighty. Uh, this is basically the size of uh, the original uh, mat. It's called the, this. The, the mat size is one ken. That's the in the Kanejaku system, the system measurement. Okay, so half should be roughly ninety centimeters. Now, today, when we use a walking stick, as we are much taller than uh, the Japanese, uh, it might be a little uh, uh, taller, a little bigger, the stick. To begin with, you have to uh, get the kamae. And the kamae with the a, with a humble are quite uh, simple. You have more or less uh, four or five uh, kamae. The first one is like with the Shizen thing, it's Hirai Chimonji no Kamae. With the hand here on top of the thigh, never get your hands out. Here. Hirai Chimonji no Kamae. The second one is Tate no Kamae. So Tate uh, in modern Japanese means uh, vertical, but historically this kanji used to mean uh, shield. So this is how you shield yourself by having the, the humble in front of you or to the side, but really to protect yourself with uh, the use of the humble. Historically, those, uh, the Japanese, they had no, uh, no shield as we had uh, all over the world when we were fighting with those little shields or the big ones. They, had, uh, they would use a uh, mat, one can, okay, the mat, on top of a yari, and they would walk with uh, this as a protection and the, uh, the guys, the, uh, the archers, would be able to, uh, to launch their arrows protected by the shield and because of the, the way it was done, this shield thing became vertical in Japanese. Munen Muso no Kamae Tate no kamae or munen muso. The only change here is that the kokoro kamae, the attitude, is different. In the tate no kamae, you know you're going to, uh, to fight. You're ready to shield yourself with the, the humbo. In the munen muso no kamae, you're walking, the guy is attacking, you're just reacting without thinking. The last one is called otonashi no kamae, with your hands behind. It can be reverse or not, uh, depending on the technique you're doing. Hirai Chimonji, Tate, or Munen Muso, with a different state of mind, Otonashi. There is one fifth uh, Kamae, which is, uh, that you can use for any kind of uh, sticks, which is uh, Kage no Kamae. Kage uh, means shadow meaning, uh, in, in that case, hidden. So, there's a hint, you don't do the kage like that. You have to hide it behind you. And when you do it, you have to pull here. So, you can then use that as a spring-like motion, and uh, the humble will just get into the face. You can use that also with a jaw, with a, with a bow, etc. Except that the bow will be visible. Adapting the distance is understanding that when the guy is attacking, okay, when the guy is attacking, uh, I can go forward, backwards, outside, inside. So the first one is naname ushiro, diagonal backwards, omote, outside, waki uchi, hitting the rib cage, uchi hit, waki uh, the side. Like the wakizashi is the blade on the side. Here I go one, two. You have to be quite low and you have to use, when you're doing it, you have to slide your hands 
to get momentum to the to the hit. I'm here. I'm going naname ushiro omote, meaning outside of the attack, and I'm hitting wakiuchi. Again. Okay. The second one is naname mae forward omote outside wakiuchi. So I'm here. Now I'm going here and hitting. Naname mae omote wakiuchi. And once again, the hand here is sliding, giving more momentum to the tip of the, the stick. Next one, which is the third, Naname Mae Ura Wakiuchi. So we're outside, now we go forward. Here, sliding in and hitting. It's one, see the, the hand sliding out, and then hitting. Fourth one, Mawashi Koteuchi Omote. Mawashi is to uh, turn. So, same beginning, guys coming in, and you just move here and you uh, break the, uh, the wrist, Kote, uh, from above. Okay? So, because the stick is under, you have to do this nice circle and hit. Yeah? Mawashi kote ura. Okay? Omote ura. One. I'm not hitting him. It's useless. In a real fight, you hit, but here it's useless. Two. Keep uh, your body low. The lower you are, the more momentum you will add to the, to the hit. Mawashi kote uchi omote ura. This mawashi kote uh, is simple. It gets better if you slide your hand back and forth. You see, I'm here. I'm going here, here, here. You see? You have to be, uh, by playing alongside the stick, you're increasing the power of the hit. For this mawashikote, so I will use the padded one so that uh, he keeps his arm for the rest of the session. I'm here, he is attacking with a knife, okay? Then here, you see, the way, the way you move your hand will speed up the hit. And if you don't hit the cote, please do, you can hit nagare. And hold it, as if you're stabbing, strong, okay? Those Stab in the, in the air. Okay. Here it's pam. Okay. If you hit with the the tip of the the humbo on the nagari point or on the wrist, the wrist the pain will have the hand open. If the guy is committed to uh, stab you, if he's attacking uh, like that, there's no point. And uh, if you hit here, the muscle reflex will just uh, let the weapon go. Kote is the wrist. But you have to understand that the forearm is also part of the kote. Okay? So slide your hands. Bam! It can be short, long, but play here. 
in a stick you don't grab too strong you always slide and the footwork is giving you the power so go back to it kote uchi omote ura two ways of doing this you're here you do the backward thing and you go up okay here backward pam so this is your pivot uh, pivoting point okay pam so now the, the shorter the distance between your hand the more power you have uh, on the leverage yeah there's another way of doing it that maybe you've studied already which is from above Some people call this one mawashi, uh, but as we saw with, uh, uh, with the kunai, it should be called mawari. So again, here, and spam. once again the footwork. All the variation. Just use, you flip it from the middle, and you have it. Kote uchi, omote, ura. Do it. Next, so we know how to move, we know where to hit the mawashi, from, uh, the kote uchi, the waki uchi. One thing that can be uh, useful is to know how to do the furi with the hombo. Two ways. If your hand is reversed, you can do the katate furi. So here it's easy, you clip the stick between the thumb and the forefinger, relax the wrist, okay, and it's here. Do the same with the with the manriki, the chain, yeah. And you can do it with the other hand. This is one hand furi. It's called katate, one hand furi. This is so you will not spend two hours like that. It's more like. You're here, the guy is coming in, then you're sliding away, and this is why you do that, yeah? I'm here, it's one, pam, yeah? Katat. The second one is called Hachimonji Iburi. Hachimonji is in the shape of an eight, Hachi. Monji number, number eight shape. Yeah? So this time the hand is like that. And you're doing it like one. So it's the same grip. And you, if you look from the side, you extend and pull and extend and pull. You see the, what the arm is doing? And you keep the center of your body like that. If you can, then you can change. Okay, the good thing with the hombo is that it will not bend like a chain and you will not hit your face when you're not going fast enough. So, two ways of hitting, katate and uh, achi. And basically it's depending on the, the way you're holding the stick. I'm here, I will do that and here, you see? Achimonji, the guy is coming in, I'm going away using the momentum, so it's like a katate thing, okay, pam, getting rid of this and hitting backwards, or it can be used for, uh, it's one, two, and then you have it, alternation, so you have to be able to mix the footwork with those hits or uh, stick positioning
together with the Kamai. Once you have uh, understood the footwork, the, the hits, uh, the, the ukinagashis, uh, we can move now to the techniques. The first one is called kyokotsu kudaki, it's to break the, uh, the breastbone, the sternum. It's very easy. So you start from uh, here at Jimojino Kamae, now you can do it from any other Kamae. The guy is coming, he's attacking, you're moving here, and just crush the guy. Yeah. I'm here. You go one behind here. Face the camera. So you have two possibilities. You can be under the arm or above the arm. Okay? Both are correct. Again. You can also do the the hit, change, and grab. Yeah? Chokotsu Kudaki. Do it. The Chokotsu Kudaki can be done in many, many, many ways. Okay? Uh, you are, uh, you are assuming the Kamae is attacking, using this, and then you have it. Yeah? See all the movements we did, the footwork? Try them. It's, uh, the the end is to crush the sternum. You can even do this one. You're here, go one and then here. Okay? And if you pull the guy down and oh. Okay? Here. The Suigetsu thing. Everything is good. You can do the the Sune here. You can do the the kote, change it here. Okay? Don't be stuck in one way of doing things. It's about adapting. The good thing with the humble uh, compared to the sword is that you have one end, two end. You can grab here or here. So you have to be able to use those changes. Everything is about changing. Adapting the movement to the situation. If you're doing this one, okay, you can just go here. Or if you are, if the distance is different, you can be more here and then up. Yeah, this is a general idea. It's not uh, something very uh, specific. So try all this. Applying the different uh, blocks, the wakiuchi, the koteuchi, the mawashi kote, uh, from the inside, from the outside, uh, even the, this one. Next one is hongyaku. So once again, what we can do without any weapon, we can use the weapons. Okay? There's one rule you have to uh, get in your brain uh, rapidly concerning those uh, non. Uh, sharpened uh, weapons like this, all the sticks, whether it's a uh, hombo, a jo, a bo, uh, yari, uh, nagina tai, it's sharpened, but uh, you'll see, you understand. Often you're here threading the guy and he will grab it, yeah? So when the guy is grabbing, you go with your hand and you always, rule number one with a weapon, you always grab the fingers together with uh, the weapon. This is one of the secrets of Kukishin. When someone, you're here, is grabbing your weapon, grab the finger. Now, footwork, and here you just go to his face. It's Hongyaku. I'm here, I'm sliding my hand here, depending on, depending on his body work, okay? I just move away, around, and I'm going to him, Hongyaku, yeah? Soft. The guy is here, okay? No, no. Stop. Grabbing one finger together with the, the weapon, using the body, and re-angling re the, the body towards him, okay? If, uh, step back, if he's here, then I will be here. 
you have to adapt if it's uh, I don't know, here, okay, then I will have, you understand, you have this hand, this hand and the legs, so that you are always facing the guy. And because you're holding him, he is stuck to the weapon. So actually the fact that he's grabbing you is giving you, uh, grabbing your weapon, is giving you the, uh, the solution. This first one is called Hongyaku, like the Hongyaku in Taijutsu. If the guy, come, you, so it can be here Chimonji, like that, and the guy is jumping to grab it, pam, okay? Now you, I prefer to consider that I'm trying to uh, keep him off distance, and then he's jumping and grabbing. Then, but when he's grabbing, it, that's a hint. If he's grabbing here, it will be difficult to do the hangyaku because when you turn, you don't have the leverage on the wrist. There are other possibilities, but uh, later. So I'm here, when he comes, I give him more. And now, I have such a nice leverage. Yeah, you see that? Okay, now, if, if I, I was not paying attention, the guy is grabbing the extremity, okay? Then I go here, and then I have Chokotsu Kudaki. Yeah? And my old little friend, uh, Sunyuchi. Yeah? <sighs> Nothing is wrong. As long as you understand that this is a rope, you can use it as a rope and turn around the guy. So again, I'm here, he's going to attack, give more. Okay? And then, one finger. Okay. <laughs> it's about leverage. You lock the guy and plop, or plop. Another uh, principle. If instead of grabbing the end of your stick, uh, Uke is grabbing between your hands, actually it will be quite hard to do the hangyaku, no? Except if you slide your hand <laughs> and do it, yeah? And then you use the power. Do it. As always, you have many ways of doing it. If the guy, instead of grabbing with the right hand, is grabbing with the left, your weapon being angled like that, it looks like you are not, not in a good position to do it. You do exactly the same, and you just open. Yeah? But from this position, it would be better to do Urayaku. Yeah? So next technique, Tomotegyaku, is Urayaku. The guy is grabbing, sliding. Okay? If he is holding with the right hand, okay, it doesn't change anything. Here, Opening, you see the, how the stick is uh, close to my body? Using the footwork and throwing the guy. Omote ura. You see, when the guy is holding, okay, what you're doing by holding the finger is, open, is doing this. The guy is holding your thing, and you're doing this. The, uh, the body mechanics. If I turn this finger bent like that, okay? Then, because of the pain in the joints here, he will twist the wrist, that will lift the elbow, get the shoulder, lock the, the backbone, weaken the leg, and then either he got a broken finger, or he's going to the ground. So this is what we're doing here. This is why it is so important to hold the finger. Okay, you think it's a it's a humble technique. 
uh, we're using a humble, but this is Taijutsu. So try to do it with one finger. Don't break the fingers, but uh, see what is happening in the body. Do it. Takeori is the same. The guy is going to grab uh, more likely the tip. So that's why you, uh, it's easier to do the takeori. Okay, once again, you do the technique that is required by the way he's holding. Okay, you, don't, you do not decide beforehand to do, if he grabs my stick, I will do takeori or hongyaku or matigyaku or yaku. Yeah? So, in the case the guy is grabbing here, okay, like very short, the hongyaku is not possible. Uh, we can do the amate dura, but you can also do the, the takeori. And then you have this. You see? So you're here, it's pam. And now, getting the body. Yeah? Take. Uh, the bamboo and oru ori to break. If the guy is going to grab here, you just give him the tip. Okay. Now here, if you do it with your uh, arms only, it will not work. That's why you still have to use the body. And you put now his body weight on uh, on the wrist. Takeori. Okay, when the guy is grabbing, it's still a takeori thing. You see, you have uh, an angle from the forearm and the stick. Now, once you have secured the hand to the bow, or to the home bow actually, you go to put everything in the same alignment. And you lift a little the stick so that the tip here, the tip here will be a uh, better position for the next movement. Okay? So the guy is grabbing, you have some kind I'm here, some kind of angle here, you slide, okay, and now you put it in line and you lift. And now you pull towards you, you see this thing, and you go close to the guy, and then you have the jumping uh, monkey. Yeah? In a real situation, just do it. But it's important to understand the biomechanical uh, uh, points on how to do it properly. Again, from here. I'm here, he's grabbing here, yeah? Wrong angle. So I slide here with my legs, okay? And I put the thing in line, lifting the uh, the ball a little so that here I have him. Yeah. Fuck. So try to apply this uh, little uh, detail. If the guy is attacking, you have two main techniques called tsukeiri and koshiori. If you understand those two techniques. All the rest of the techniques are given because everything is either koshiori or tsukiri. It's very easy. So the, the first, the first one is tsukiri. So from this, the guy is attacking, and you do the wakiuchi thing that we uh, studied. Now you grab here at the wrist level, extend the arm to have the stick at the elbow level, pull the hand and push the stick. Yeah? So it's here. The point you're hitting might be the ribs, but might also be the uh, shichibatsu, the, the upper edge of the hip. It's uh, something that is protected by fat and muscles and everything, but with a stick, it goes like a uh, like that, you see? But hitting the ribs is nice too. Okay, it's here and here. And the floating ribs, the spare ribs. 
Now, if the guy was wearing a yoroi, you would better hit the midsection here. Once again, depending on the, the way the guy is, uh, is dressed, you have to change and adapt the technique. Yeah? Anyway, wherever you are, you're here. Now, here you just slide in. And this is uh, doing kind of uh, a hinder uh, to his body. Rotating the, the humble and putting, and this is very important, you put the, uh, the stick on the joint, on the elbow joint. Yeah? Uh, by the way, this is another way of doing it. <laughs> it's a very nice one, but it's too complex. So, sorry. So it's pam, pam. Okay? Here. So in the training uh, thing, you don't have to uh, hit that uh, strong. But it's about footwork as usual. It's pam, the footwork we did. Extension. Control, pulling, pushing. Okay? One very important point is this one. You're holding your stick from the here, so your hand is like that. When you're here, you have to go round here. You see there? I bend my arm and I let the thing go. If I try to do that, I will have no power. This is one of the secrets of. Uh, medium range uh, weapons the way you rotate your thing to be uh, in control please pay attention to the the joint lock if you're uh, locking the guy on the shoulder or on the on the arm between the, the elbow and the shoulder if you have a strong guy like him so he's attacking you do the thing and you're too high here this guy can take the pain and then he's giving me the takeori, you see? Worst case scenario, I will lose my weapon and then, uh, yeah, dentist. So if, if you're too high and the guy is strong, you might not be able to hold him uh, down. But now, pay attention to this. I'm here, I'm doing my thing, and I'm here, here. Resist. Ah. You see? When you resist, is Resist? Ah. Is it? <laughs> so this is really the key point here. Out of reach, moving away, rotating from the inside, and locking here. Resist? Ah. Is it? I have a, such a big leverage. Yeah? So, here, not here. When I said you have to lock the joint, so bend over, okay. If you are on the elbow, but more on the forearm and the lower part here, you're on the elbow, yeah? But you're not uh, using the leverage. Because in the technique, you have to pull this one up while pushing this one down. So here, it's painful, but I'm putting the same effort and balancing my uh, strength. You see? This is one bone, it will not bend. So I'm putting this one up and pushing this one down on the same bone. It's painful, but uh, the guy can take it. Now, if you're just on the elbow but slightly above it, meaning on the humerus bone here, now this is giving you a much better leverage. This is not wrong. It's just less efficient than this one. Okay? Because the elbow is, uh, is made of... Uh, you have one bone here and two bones here and this one covering. So you have to be a little behind the tip of the elbow. If you're under, you're using the same bone. If you're above, you're having this one segment against this one segment. Because once again, the hands are doing that. Koshiori, koshi the hip, oru to break. This is the opposite movement uh, as to uh, the um, tsukeiri one. The guy is, is attacking, fist attack, and you just hit here. So, I don't know why it's called koshiori. Is it because you're hitting the shichibatsu? Maybe. 
Or is it because the guy falling will break his hip on the fall? Maybe. Do both, and uh, the name will be uh, good. So, here is Shimonji Nakamae. He's coming in. I'm hitting here. Now, reversing. You see the hand? So I'm here and here. Okay. And now, with the stick being diagonal to the, to the body, I okay, block. So I might be hi hitting the, the koshi, koshiori. But I'm also trying to jack in. So I don't know why. In these two movements, oh, once again, it's one, two. In these two movements, uh, you have to be able to rotate the, uh, the extended arm to facilitate the movements. In the case of Tsukeiri, Pam, this is Urayaku. And in the case of uh, Koshiori, this is Omotegaku. Yeah? <coughs> this is always the same. What you can do with your hands, you can do with a weapon. And if you uh, move differently with a weapon, you're not doing Bujingo. So, again, here, it's here. Yeah? Now, sliding. And put him down. There are many ways of doing uh, Tsukiri and Koshiori. Uh, and some guys will say that uh, when you do the, the Koshiori, you have to do the reverse thing as we did with the Tsukiri. It's not wrong, but I think you're just missing the point. Uh, when you do the, uh, those movements, the guy is attacking. Here you have, it's the body movement. You don't do only that, it's throwing the body here, yeah? Now, when you slide here, it can be good to have the same motion that we have. You know, there. You know to carry here, and I said you have to rotate so that the, the elbow is down, okay, like that. Actually, when you do it here, this is the same. And that's when you <laughs> get the guy, okay? Now, can you do it to me? Up. When he's hitting, when he's hitting, you see, the tip here is the one, okay? So, back to the Koshi, Ori, break the, uh, I think, the first one will, the first uh, the block will hit, will break the hip here, and the second, in the movement, okay, will break, will break the other hip. The name is Ganseki. Ganseki is the big rock, and Otoshi is to put the big rock down onto the ground. Otosu is to go down to the, to the ground. You know? Ganseki Otoshi. It's like Ganseki Nage with a stick. Uh, the Otoshi idea is to, uh, that we will pull the guy down onto the ground with uh, an arm lock created by the, uh, the humble. Guy is attacking. We can do from uh, Tsukiri or we can do it from uh, Koshiori. Okay? But basically more than Tsukiri, Koshiori, it's the basic footwork we've been studying uh, to begin with. Okay? It's one. Now here, you lift this one and you keep your uh, stick uh, in between the legs. Now, by pulling this hand down, you get the leg out. Okay, if you do it fast and you go down at the same time, uh, you break everything. Here, one, two, three. Yeah. Another way of doing it, the guy is coming into the attack and just tap in and you have it. Another way of doing it, 
that you move Stop. another way of doing it the guy is uh, attacking block here you move here okay and now here okay the idea is just to lock the guy in one position and <laughs> to take his leg off one to him inside rotating getting the leg out Ganseki Otoshi the key thing is to position your body correctly obviously but to get the leg uh, out okay so one way uh, so the guy has been attacking here and you're positioning your stick here you're here okay one thing it can be from here to here as long as you keep the stick here if the stick is too low then you go back to something else it's not the point here so you're here okay now here you just okay, you do that okay at the same time you're putting down and uh, you have his balance you're here okay and you just do that at the same time you do that you pull this one up now give me a padded one because I want to break his uh, arm so I'm here okay and I will do that Onikudaki omote Onikudaki oni the devil the spirit or the bad spirit Kudaki uh, to break Actually, this is something uh, related to the, the elbow thing. The elbow being considered as the horn of the devil. Okay? So, I'm using same kamae, could be any other one. Guy is coming in. I'm one. Okay? Now, going in, sliding out to have the leverage. There's no strength at all. here Koshiori getting the stick so now the key thing is that my hand is not reaching out for the stick I'm rotate after the hit I slide the stick quite far away so that I will be able to turn around and then I'm using the leverage One, two, three. <coughs> if the guy is strong, uh, you will have to increase the leverage. This is a good thing compared to a uh, regular taijutsu with no weapon. Here you can play with the length of the weapon. So the guy was here, you did everything. Okay, now when you turn here, when you entered the guy here, you see. <coughs> you grab here and before this one is coming in you just do that now if the guy is resisting okay, you just oh. do it so you see I did two things here from this body positioning he's resisting uh, and he might be able to uh, <laughs> he's so tall uh, to hit me yeah so what I will do hit me is that I'm going away so I'm playing the Nanami Ushiro Mote yeah at the same time I'm playing leverage on his arm uh, once again Pam resist strong hit me oh. now there is a trick do you see it? resist resist okay hit me <coughs> The moment he is launching the attack, he will go down with, his, uh, with the, the elbow. Okay? So that's why you just have to step lightly to the side and everything is given. Onikudaki Ura. This is the reverse Onikudaki. He is attacking, controlling here. The Koteuchi thing, changing my hand going inside, getting the, the elbow get it 
here. Kote uchi, omote. Yeah? Sliding the hand. Getting my arm towards him. You have to hit him just to avoid any... Uh, wrapping the humbo in the side of the elbow and getting the, the wrist. Extending here the leverage and pivoting backwards. Yeah? H ni sa yo. H ni sa yo. You know, in all those movements, it looks like the uh, the bow is a rope. No, it's like a natural flow of uh, things. And this is given by your legs. When you're here, this is important. Okay, from this, whether you're under or above, it's rotating around, but keeping the contact. So here, when you come in, yeah, like a gonseki, you, instead of grabbing the stick, which will do no, no good, you put it here and hook here. Now here, to increase the leverage, I go to the end. And then I, when I turn, <coughs> I have him. Kote is done against a sword attack, but you can use it... Uh, in Rio Taijutsu, but it makes more sense when you see with the sword. And you're using the Otonashi no Kamae. The guy is attacking, and it's Kote Gaishi. You just destroy the thing. You see the, the body is out of the line, and the whole body is into the thing. Uh, one thing, this uh, Kamae I'm using is typical from the Gyokoryu. Otonashi no Kamae. The guy is going to attack, and one. Okay, you just destroy the, the thing. If you are too uh, too short, it's not it's not a big deal. Okay, if you go here, and then you have it. Hachimonji buri. Everything is linked, but this is tied to. So again, here. And I'm doing motonashi no kamae because it looks nicer. You could do it here, but you have to get the reverse hand first. If you are here, it would be very difficult. Yeah. Here, here it's one. Okay. The reason why he is stressed is not because I'm going to hit the kote. And this is the main uh, thing with the weapons. And the longer the weapons, the more he will use it. Is that when he is attacking slowly, when I'm going here, he sees that coming to his face. So he's slowing down and then by using my body I just cut down the distance and uh, hit the wrist. You can do it without uh, the sword but once you know why we do it and how we do it when the sword is attacking then it makes more sense. So the guy is attacking you're using the same uh, kamei we had with the reverse hand here. Okay, when he's coming in you will hit here or here. Okay, straight. Here, okay. It can also be here. It's the same. Yeah. Just push down. Okay. And again, achimonji. Gyaku otoshi. The guy is going to grab my sleeve, and I'm having the tate no kamae. Uh, <coughs> if you put your hand like this. For this technique, it's possible, but it's more difficult. So maybe you would be uh, like that and reversing. You know, like you have the tate no kame with the hand on top. And when the guy is grabbing your sleeve, you just go here, go down, and crush the wrist. It's one. 
two, kind of uh, arm extension, and now you wrap that to yourself. Gyaku Otoshi. If he's holding, uh, instead of holding here, more to the, the upper section, my arm, okay, it's even better. Oh. Remember that the bones, they don't like the crushing action. It's a mini foam roller attitude. Here, because of the, the hand position, it will be more difficult. Okay? But when, you, when the guy is grabbing you, it's more like, uh, likely that he's going to hit you. So, on the grab, you just go out, and that's why you have it. <laughs> Uh, so I'm showing many ver uh, variations around the same principle. Uh, if instead of uh, grabbing my uh, sleeve, he's grabbing the the weapon, like here, okay, I will just do it with the fingers. Is it? Kudaki. The guy is coming and trying to stab me with a, a tonto or shoto, uh, one hand. So you move out and at the same time you do the mawashikote thing. Okay? Either to the nagare or the, the kote. By doing so, he will let go the weapon to the ground and then you come and into the Kazumi. So, without killing him, I'm here, it's here. So here I'm using ski because I was a little f uh, far away. If you're closer, you can use the regular uh, hit. Okay? With a humble, you can either hit or uh, thrust. Again. Here, mawashi kote inside. Here, it's important to use the legs to do the movement. Okay, this guy will not uh, wait for you, so it's. Kazumi Gake, like the, the fog uh, precipice, something like that. The guy is attacking. It's one. Okay, you extend here to uh, control uh, the wrist, and you stab the guy in the ribs, uh, uh, Butsumetsu. And then you continue the sliding motion to get into the Tsukeiri. Usually you go down with him and you break the arm. He's nice. Here, it's katate ski, okay? You let this hand go, sideways, stab! And then, the tsukeiri thing. Okay, the last technique is a uh, little strange. So I'll show you with a sword, and then we'll do it with a with a humble. This is against a sword attack. The guy is going to attack, so you will get your sword out of the way, up, and here. At the same time, you go sideways. It's a kind of uh, kage no ito, but uh, simpler. So the guy is going to attack, okay, you move here, 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 yeah? You're here, the guy is going to attack, so you move out, yeah? 
Here you reverse your hand and pull down and up to get it. Yeah? It's much faster when you're using the, the humble. And that's why it's called Kote Harai and not uh, Kote Kiri. Otenashi no Kamae. Okay? And here. Uh, typically, this is the, uh, the guy is coming in. It's here. Okay? And this is the Kage no Kamae that we saw at the beginning. Now, here I'm putting a little so that I have this spring like effect. Here. And then I let it go down. Okay? Again. I'm here. I will go here. Okay? Here. I'm oh, sorry. International <coughs> Kamae. I'm going out here. Straight. Okay? And getting the thing. I can hit the blade, the wrist, or the face. The important thing here is to go here. Straight. Turn, hit. One, two. You have to make it simple, okay? This is not a sword, this is a stick, so you don't have to get it out of the scabbard, which is a little more complicated. So, when you're here, okay, help yourself with your hands. Slide the hands alongside the thing. And then by having the tension created by the shoulder here, putting with this hand and this one, that's why I have it. Yeah? But you don't have to, uh, there's no direction on a stick. There is no uh, scabbard. So make it simple. This. You're here, your hand will slide here, and you have it. Yeah?